There are just over 20 dreams recorded in the Old and New Testament, and she is the only woman to have her dream recorded. Her vision was that of Christ himself. She is considered a saint in the Greek Orthodox Church, even though she was never a public follower of Christ or even a Jew. At the unfair trials of Jesus, there were many mighty political and religious leaders of Jesus' community testifying against him. There was even a whole mob shouting to release Barabbas and crucify Jesus. When even his own apostles denied him, this woman was the only witness on behalf of Jesus at his trial, saying to Pontius Pilate, have nothing to do with that just man. This is a woman named in the Gospel of Nicodemus as Procula later known as Claudia Procula, and also known as the wife of Pontius Pilate. In Nicodemus, when the Jews heard her testimony, they tried to gaslight her and said to Pilate, Did we not say unto thee, He is a conjurer? Behold, he hath caused thy wife to dream. Pilate, knowing his wife and what kind of woman she is, does not believe this. Pontius Pilate tried to change the crowd's mind, asking questions like, What has this man done? Pilate hoped that a good beating would ease the bloodlust of the Jews, but in the end he washed his hands as a token that he did not want to be responsible. Perhaps for Pontius Pilate, this was his middle ground to appease his wife by washing his hands as a token of having nothing to do with this man, and to appease the crowds who wanted Jesus dead. It was Pilate who made the inscription above the cross saying, This is the King of the Jews. When the Jews wanted it changed, Pilate refused. Nicodemus tells how Pilate was sorrowful at Jesus' death, and gathered the Jews together, and said to them, Have ye seen the miracle of the sun's eclipse, and the other things which came to pass while Jesus was dying? And the Jews still denied. In one of the letters of Pilate to Herod, he said, Now when Procula my wife heard that Jesus was risen, and had appeared in Galilee, she took with her Longinius the centurion and twelve soldiers, the same who had watched at the sepulchre, and went to greet the face of Christ, as if to a great spectacle, and saw him with his disciples. He goes on to say how Jesus spoke to her, and asked if she believed him. When Percula returned to Pilate and told him about her encounter with the risen Lord, Pilate went to bed in affliction, and put on a garment of mourning. Later he took fifty Romans with his wife to Galilee. She was baptized by Paul the Apostle, and Pilate was also converted. Pilate is later executed. And before he dies, he gives a moving prayer, which includes praise for his wife, and says, O Lord, and in your servant Procula, who stands with me in this hour of my death, whom you taught to prophesy that you must be nailed to the cross, do not punish her too in my sin, but forgive us and number us in the portion of your just ones. Pilate is forgiven by the Lord and promised that he will appear as Christ's witness at the second coming. When he was executed, his wife Procula saw the angel come and receive him. She was so full of joy that she immediately gave up the ghost and was buried with her husband.